Hello everyone. In this uh, video, we will talk about Coulomb's law. Coulomb law is all about the forces between the charged particles. So let's uh, define a system. Uh, if we have two particles, one particle uh, has a charge of Q1 and sec second particle has a charge of Q2, then uh, uh, the force can be defined between the two particles and uh, that force will also be a function of distance between the two. So before I define Coulomb's law, let's think about the system and guess what we should already know uh, about the system. So as we know that um, uh, it seems pretty obvious that if the charge on the particles will be higher then force should also be higher right. So if we talk about the force then force should increase uh, if uh, q1 increases or q2 increases right. So uh, I can guess that force should be directly proportional to q1 and q2 right. Same time we also can guess that uh, force will decrease if the distance will increase. So obviously when two particles are far apart then they will have less influence on each other then there will be less attraction as compared to if they are very close to each other. And you can think about it in a, this way that uh, suppose if you have a magnet and you are uh, applying a magnetic field on something and uh, something is so far from you then you won't have any effect on that one but it, if it's very close to some uh, uh, metal piece then it will be much more uh, attraction right. So, so obviously the attraction uh, will be less if the distance are more right. So from that we can at least guess that force should be proportional to q1 and q2 and should be inversely proportional to the distance. And the only thing you have to remember is that it's not just the distance it's distance square. So this will comes from the law of physics. Uh, so right now I won't be able to explain you why we are using r square instead of r. Uh, but uh, so this is how the Coulomb laws start right. So now we have a proportionality constant uh, but there are some other terms which will also define the force and that is the nature of the environment. So environment could be uh, it could be water, it could be vacuum, it could be air or it could be some other gases right. So, so that environment will also define the force between the two. So suppose uh, if there is an attraction between the two then there could be something in between uh, which can uh, lower down the magnitude of the force between the two or which may also enhance the magnitude of force between the two. So that's why uh, we have to uh, use um, uh, proportionality constant k which is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. So here epsilon naught is the standard uh, uh, definition of the environment. So it's it's called uh, permeability but uh, uh, it's defined for the vacuum where you don't have any thing between the two particles. Then this term is given by 9 into 10 raised to power 9 and uh, so if you uh, also look at this carefully then we can also define one uh, unit force uh, which will be given by uh, if we assume that the charges are 1 and the distance between the particles is also 1 then the force will be equal to uh, this number which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and uh, this is called 1 coulomb. So I hope this is uh, understandable. So now if we change the environment to something else then uh, this epsilon will change and uh, we always define that epsilon. Uh, relative to the epsilon for the vacuum and uh, that will give us uh, uh, like easier calculations. So the law of physics or the books of physics have been written in this way that uh, epsilon is also always defined in terms of uh, its uh, relative number compared to the vacuum. So, uh, so we can see that if there is a medium then force is more defined by uh, epsilon instead of epsilon naught where uh, uh, force uh, in vacuum divided by force over medium uh, will be given by epsilon over epsilon naught. Here we are assuming that the charges and the distance are same and the only difference is the environment. So and, and that will give us a relative epsilon r or rela relative epsilon. <coughs> so the, or this is also called dielectric constant and this will be uh, defined as the force uh, which should be in the vacuum divided by the force which should be in the uh, medium. So 
as we know that the medium uh, should may have less force suppose if it's uh, something which can uh, lower down the force between the two so the vacuum force should be higher then epsilon r should mostly be greater than 1 in most of the cases so so this is what defines a coulomb law